You've been using every ounce of concentration you have to control the pain you're in. A black belt like Greg Thompson is capable of delivering 2,000 pounds of pressure with a precise kick. Pain resides in the mind of the beholder. And let's move on to something less subjective. You murdered Greg Thompson with a fragment from this pool cue. Those are your prints on the cue. That's your shoe on the ceiling. After you stabbed Greg, you stumbled out into the San Gennaro Festival. That wasn't why I went to see Greg. You took what I taught you, and you killed Jared. Over what? Promotion. Greg generated a fake memo, put it on a flash drive in Jared's pocket. He just didn't guess that you were going to get to him first. Do you know the two cycles of business? Is the kind I spent my life fostering. The virtuous cycle. And there's the kind Greg Thompson fell into. The vicious cycle. It's a choice we all make every day we walk into work. And what choice did you make when Greg attacked you? The one choice left. I defended myself. <laughs> I think a jury will understand that. They'll look at me and my record and think. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Connie Stewart. She's just down the hall from me at the dorm. She told me about Club Mortem. She said to come here to the Purple Eye and someone might be able to swing us some passes. Jenny, let's just go. No. Oh. I'm gonna miss out on this party. And club Mortem is the hottest club ever, Lena. I'm not gonna miss my chance to go. The day that bitch Connie Stewart gets to go and I don't, it's a cold day in hell. You're Johnny, right? Connie said to ask for you. Don't you girls have a mall to go to or something? Please, I know you know what I'm talking about. It's Club Mortem. It's like supposed to be in this old factory or something. And like everybody who's anybody is gonna be there. I'm sorry. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Please. Jenny, this is getting embarrassing. I don't care. I'm not gonna miss out on this party. Wait a minute. I just remembered. I might know of a way to get some passes. Really? I said I might. No, no, no. That's okay. We don't need to do that. I want to go. She wants to go. I don't think she wants to go that bad. Oh, she seems to want to go pretty bad. I really want to go, Lena. Everybody's going to be there. I mean, come on. My dad's going to make me work at the store all summer. This is like the last chance I'll ever have to have any fun. We drove all the way down here. Sounds like she really wants to go. Okay, Pinhead. How do we get passes? I want to smell your panties. <laughs> you want to smell our panties? <laughs> I want to smell your sweet, dirty Whoa, whoa. Undies. Take it easy, Tiger. Sick fuck. Jenny, are you sure you want to do it? Madame! <laughs> There is a light at your gate, a young Venetian, one who comes to signify the approaching of his lord. I have not seen so likely an ambassador of love. God bless your worship. Signor Bassanio. Many thanks. I pray you, Leonardo, these things being bought and orderly bestowed, return in haste. For I do feast tonight my best esteemed acquaintance. Where did you find her? Oh, she's from Yorkshire. From a poor family. We was lucky to find her. Hey, I'm feeling lucky. Easy movie, boy. You know, they're all wonderful girls and equally deserving. What, equally deserving of this? Wow. When do I get to meet them? We start at prelims tonight. I'll show you around later on. At the club? Yeah, I thought we'd do something different this year, a bit more Hollywoody. We've got to have dinner with the contestants tonight, and I want them to meet all the judges. Is she going to be there? Yeah, but it's hands off. Well, I can just look, can I? I don't know. Can you? I tell you what, every time I'm in front of the camera, before every single scene, I get scared to death. <laughs> really. 
scared to death. I've been doing this for years, and still, I get nervous as hell for every scene. But that's all it is, nerves. You think so? Absolutely. There's nothing wrong with you at all. So, how long you uh, been staying here at Dragos? Um, quite some time now. Uh, let's just say Dragos helped me out when I was going through a really tough time. Um, hello? Yeah, I'll be right there. Yeah. Um, I really have to get going, Joey. It's been, it's been nice to meet you. Wait, can't we I'm go? I'm sorry, I really have to go, but thanks. It's been really nice. Thank <sighs> you.